Welcome to Gospel Greetings, Practical Encouragement for Living Out Your Faith in the Marketplace. This week, we continue on The Awe of God by John Bevere. Last week, we did Secret Friendship from Psalm 25. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. We saw that some trusted Jesus, others kind of believed his teaching. But then finally, there was a select others in 1 Corinthians 6 who talks about being united with him. These are the ones that Jesus really calls friends. This week, we continue with rejoicing from Psalm 2, 11 and 12. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Blessed are those who put their trust in him. Psalm 2 is a messianic psalm. All through, it speaks of Jesus coming. The psalmist says we are to serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. But how do we really do that? You know, it's easy when we're feeling good to go on and on about the joy of the Lord. But where does this sense of fear come in? I think it comes in when we begin to understand who God really is. He's holy, altogether other, and not like us. So when we serve him with fear, we need to also rejoice with trembling. But today, we're going to have to study some words. We've already looked at, in previous weeks, at fear as awe, wonder, and respect of God. We saw trembling in both how we view God's word and how we work out what God has worked in. But now we see rejoice. This is the word gil, which means to be joyful and to spin around with emotion. It's like the psalmist is saying, dance with joy before the Lord in awe. Then in verse 12, he said, blessed are those who trust in him. In the Old Testament, there's two words used for blessed. Number six says, may the Lord bless you and keep you. This is the traditional word blessed, and it's barach, to kneel, praise, or to be adored by God. But this word in Psalm 2 is not barach, but another word, esher, which means being happy in our blessed state. The New Living Translation actually reads, what joy for all who take refuge in him. In the New Testament, we have the same thing, two Greek words for blessed, and the second is found in the Beatitudes and is called makarios, which is like the Old Testament word esher we just talked about. It means being happy or blessed in our state. So when it says blessed are the poor in spirit, it's literally saying happy are the poor in spirit. Putting these two things together, we get this verse paraphrased as dance with joy before the Lord in holy fear. You will be happy if you do. In the Treasury of David, Spurgeon says, fear without joy is torment, and joy without holy fear is presumption. And we've got to avoid presumption and pride. So we fear because God is holy and powerful, and we know we have fallen short of his plan for us, but we rejoice because he has reached out to us through Jesus Christ, his son, to show us his love and mercy. Remember that Jesus himself is said to delight in the fear of the Lord in Isaiah 11. Isn't that what this Advent season is really about? Let's pray. Dear God, enable each of us to dance with to dance with joy before you in holy fear, for we know that we will be happy if we do. In Jesus' name, amen.